Frank D. Frank and welcome to Fly Time with D. Frank's Flies. In this segment we're going to tie a pheasant tail. We're going to add some shimmer to it and a little bit of dimension. We're going to tie my humpback pheasant tail. It uses a Spirit River humpback bead. And they're available in eight colors and uh, it's suitable for sizes uh, 10 down to 16. You're not going to be able to utilize them on uh, smaller than that. They're just too big. They're only in one size. They do vary a little bit in the package, uh, just like uh, all glass beads do. And uh, it's just uh, an, instead of using uh, epoxy, it's another way. You know, it gives you another option uh, to add something to your fly. So, uh, what do you say we get started tying the humpback pheasant tail? We're going to start with a thread base about halfway on the shank. Let's start our thread there. Being that the uh, pheasant tail fibers, what we're going to use for the tail here is, it's not bulky. We really don't need a thread base the whole way back. So that's going to keep that bulk down and give us a better looking tail there. It's going to lay it up here and size our tail. Go ahead and tie that on. And you'll see here is, you know, they're, I can pull as hard as I want. They're not going to roll around. That's good. And I'm going to advance up real quick again. And next I'm going to tie in some wire right here on the side. Right back to the tail again. This is a fairly simple tie. Next, I'm going to strip off a few more pheasant tail fibers here for the body. When you go ahead and strip these, you always want to pull them 90 degrees from the stem. That's going to keep the tips even. That's a good practice to get used to. Either cut them or rip them off. And we're going to tie these in at the tip. And like, a, you know, I really didn't need to even those up. You know, it wasn't really that crucial like it would be for the tail or legs, but I still want to trim just to touch off those real fine tips before I tie that in. It's just a good practice to get used to. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and start with my first wrap. Second. Now I'm going to start pick up my pliers here and I'm going to start to just twist that a little bit. Uh, it's going to help create a, a little more taper and make it a little more durable also. Right up to the halfway point and then I'm going to tie it off. I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess off. Sure, it's tied down good. And now I'm going to counter wrap the wire to help reinforce the pheasant fibers. Nice, even, open spirals up to the halfway point. Tie it off. Go ahead and cut it with the back of your scissors or simply wiggle it around and break it off. Now once I've done that, you can see here, I'm going to secure my bead, a little humpback bead here. If you look at it, it's just an offset bead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come around here and start to counter wrap around the top of the bead, secure it to the hook, go around this way once or twice and secure it to the hook. And just crisscross it around it, and that's going to secure that bead upright position. Uh, now I'm going to tie in a few strands of peacock. Okay, and I'm going to reinforce it by doubling my thread over, like we would be for a dubbing loop. And I like to cut. So I only have one strand of thread. It's going to keep the bulk down. 
and I'm going to just start to twist. Grab my pliers. Twist that up into a little rope. Now I'm going to start to crisscross the wraps just a few times in front and behind. Come up, finish in front, and tie that off. I'm just going to add a few legs on each side. A few nice tight wraps. A few more on this near side. off, make sure it's tied down solid. Looks good. And do a couple whip finishes. There you have it. Humpback pheasant tail.